Did you forget the energy bars? I packed them with Well, I can't find them, Adam. I just said I packed them. And you wanted to park two miles away from the entry point so no one sees us. Park two miles away so we don't get caught. Or have you forgotten that we're not supposed to be here? Look, what we're doing is serious shit, Gwyn. This is illegal. Will you stop moaning about trivial shit and just eat an apple? Eat an apple? Yeah. Great. I'll keep my energy levels up for the duration of this expedition. Just come on and get your shit together. What now? Just get a break. We're nearly there. How can you be sure? Because it's on the map. The map your stoner mate gave you. I've already told you, he's not a stoner. I honestly don't know how you got swept up to all this. You're so vanilla. How am I vanilla? I don't mean it as an insult. It's just you're the last person I expect to be part of this group. What, because I don't look like you every day in nature conservations? I said I didn't mean it as an insult. Don't take everything so personally. No, go on. What do I look like? I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> Sorry, okay? I'm just pretty scared being out here. After everything you show me about these areas and how the government are trying to cover something up. No, I get it, I do. Let's just stop arguing and enjoy how exciting all this is. Deal? Come on. This amount of radiation coming from over the ridge, it'll affect everything for a 10 mile radius. Like a second Chernobyl, but right here on our doorsteps. Animals, plants, even the water that runs through to the neighbouring towns will be affected. This isn't fair. 
It's a man-made disaster that it could crumble the ecosystem. Affect the livelihoods of so many people. We need to do something, Gwen. The government are behind us. If we don't do something, then no one will. Yeah. Take this for the radiation. How did you get involved in all this? I really thought I could make a difference. But I'm not so sure now. I don't know. You can make a difference. Even if one person will stand up for something, then others will follow. One person can make plenty of difference. Even you. The reason I got involved in this group is because I want to meet like-minded people. People are tired of waiting on the sidelines while those in charge make decisions that affect us all. Let's get the evidence we need to put a stop to all this, okay? Like my dad says, chin up, look lively. Come on. Yeah, come on. You sure? Yeah. Look, if you find it first, you can take the credit. Thank you. Hey. We're a team, yeah? Yeah. You sure this is the right way? Yeah. Look, I'll go first. Just stay in tight behind me. What are you stopping for? I think something's watching us. What was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Gwen, wait! Looks like a mutated Komodo dragon. From the radiation? Yeah. I think it's gone. Keep down. I haven't seen this yet. Are you sure?
So, how did you find me? You hid well, I can tell you that. It took some digging. What do you want? My name's Dina, and this is Joanna. Pleased to meet you. So, how can I help you? I assume you're reporters? No, no. Nothing like that. But we are here to help you. Help with what? With people believing you. We believe you. We believe your story about what happened in the mountains. It's, uh, not. it's not a story. Right, that's not what I meant. It's just that it's impossible to get any information about what's really going on up there. The government is covering up their experiments, and we have to get in there and uncover the truth. And how do you think you're going to do that? Hmm? Spread the word, try and stop the experiments, close them down. Yeah, well, I tried to do that the first time, and no one believed me. They made sure of that. We have interesting parties, and we'll have a stake in what's going on there. I'm listening. We're from the Natural Wildlife Institute, and our benefactors have been monitoring the area for quite some time, and they've come across some of your articles. If anybody knows anything about what's really going on up there, it's you. Sorry. I'm not interested. I left behind everything last time, my home, my family. I want nothing to do with this. This conversation is over. Wait! Just hear us out. I'm not interested. You have no idea what you're dealing with. We have resources behind us. We trust your judgment. We just need um, someone who can shed a light on what's going on there. Like some sort of guide. We're going out to those mountains and we're asking you to advise us on this journey. So what makes you, they, so interested now? I tried to get those papers published at the time, but they were determined to bury them. I had to send everything through the post so they wouldn't track me. What was found was redacted by the military, and everything on paper is now digital nowadays. But when we dug deep, we found those originals, and frankly, it was disturbing to say the least. What would my part be? I'm retired. I have no direct access to Intel anymore. My skills are rusty, to say the least. I really wouldn't be of any use to you. Purely advisory. We don't expect you to want to go back there. Okay. All right, let's talk. We're not here. You never know who's watching. So, explain. Right, well, we found your original correspondence when we were looking into another incident. And like Joanna had said, a lot of them have been scrubbed clean. But we were able to get some people on it and they found us some copies where the military hadn't intervened. It's taken a lot of work to find you. It wasn't easy. No, it wasn't meant to be. I had to protect those who were closest to me. We know, we saw the articles and the slander and how the military painted you out to be, well, crazy. Yeah. Mm. Price you pay for doing what you think is right. And we're sorry if we came on too strong, but we really needed to talk to you. And we do realize you didn't want to be found, so we really are sorry about all of this. Mm. So, who is he? Our benefactor. Mm -hmm. He would like to remain anonymous for now, until such time we can name him publicly on completion of the mission. Sounds a little suspicious to me. Look, it's all above board. Really, there's nothing to worry about. It's just that he's a public figure. And if it were to get out that he was involved at this early of a stage, our cover would be blown. He needs to be made public. And whatever they're doing down there, it needs to be shut down. Yes, the land is owned by the military. But the repercussions and the damage that they could do to the environment can have dire consequences to the surrounding areas. And I'm sorry if this sounds like tree-hugging bullshit, 
but our main focus is a natural habitat. Mm. And what about the dragons? <sighs> Sorry? The dragons, you know, big flying, fire-breathing dragons. Man-made military machines. You go into those mountains and they get a whiff of it, you can expect them to come. Well, from what you wrote, we can only presume they're like attack dogs. Steroids. An understatement in hindsight. Mm. You know, the military are not ones for wondering what if when it comes to national security. This is why we need to stop them. And by we, you mean? We've assembled a team to help us infiltrate the compound. Okay. <sighs> oh, God, how can we can rip up? Advisory only. Advisory only. Okay. Is this it? Look, it's the best we could do without going the strictly official routes. But Connie, she's a park ranger, so she's going to be great to have in the field. And Ben is a wildlife expert. He spent years abroad researching endangered species in some of the most harsh environments. And the other two? Well, China, she works with a large of papers, and Matt's looked at it a while back. Your sister? She was never seen again. Not exactly the best in the circumstances, but... Uh... Hopefully, we'll be able to sort things out. When do you leave? Two days. All right, there should be enough time to get them ready. They're not sorted. Yeah, well, I can see that. But after tomorrow, you'll be as ready as you can be. I don't like to think of anyone going out there unprepared. Well, this cabin should be fine. Hopefully, the government will know about it. No, this place is off map, so it should be like finding a needle on a haystack. I don't know what you think you know, but this is not going to be a walk in the park. This is serious, treacherous. There are real dangers out there, and I don't mean just from those monsters, but from the military as well. Animals are predictable. They act on basic instinct, they're territorial. But the military is a very different type of animal. Now, I don't mean to scare you, but you should be scared. Fear is a good motivator. It can sometimes mean the difference between life and death. Now, clearly you are not soldiers, but I will, over the next couple of days, instill in you some of the basic skills that you're going to need to hopefully make it out of here alive. Any questions? Uh, yeah. When do we leave? Start? <laughs> now. Shit. To that tree line!
thing or two. Well, you need to be ready to fire at any time, so load up and moan. Right, everyone, you've done really well today. You should be proud of yourselves. I mean, there is still a lot more I could teach you, but given the time constraints, the basics will have to do. And we've still got tomorrow to go over a few things. You know, the more repetition, the more it will become muscle memory. It's not much, but it should give you a fighting chance when you're out there in the mountains. Wait, you're not coming with us? Yeah, no. Advisory only and to help train you up. Why? Why? Because that was the deal. This is bullshit. Outside now! I'm sorry about this. Listen, I brought you here as agreed. But because you found me, I'm going to have to find myself a new home, new everything. Christ, I can't even believe I'm here as it is. I am not going back into those mountains. I'm not asking you to. We're grateful that you brought us here in the first place. All right, everybody. Why don't you just take tonight off? Go and get some rest. worry about him. His bark is worse than his bite. Don't worry, I know how to deal with men with anger issues. He was under the impression that you were joining us. As someone who was there, it would be a safety net of sorts. Well, I think you're all very capable. <laughs> as long as you stay low and high whenever you see something. Which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'd like to know how it is that you survived that ordeal. Let's go have a cup. So, as a reporter, was this what you were expecting when you agreed to do the job? Well, we're just not reporters. We go into the war zones to report the truth from the viewpoint of the people who are there. We debunk all the propaganda that the officials spew out. We're good at what we do. I'm not disregarding your credentials as a reporter. But this isn't a cosy, three-mile-from-the-front type of a job, you know? This is deep into enemy territory. And the worrying thing is that the enemy just happens to be your own government. Don't I know it? I just want the truth to come out and for your story to be heard. My story? No, this isn't about me. But you're the one that readers will relate to. Yours is an amazing story of courage and perseverance in the face of authority. I admire what you stand for. Please, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm certainly not somebody to admire or look up to. I've done some really bad things in the name of this country. The past is gone. You can't change it. If you could, we could rewrite history. And not knowing what came from before can be detrimental to our future. Which is yet another reason why we are an essential source for exposing the truth. We unveil that blanket of hypocrisy and the ugly underside of this world. People can forgive, but you need to forgive yourself. I was sent on a suicide mission with two soldiers who didn't make it back and I will blame myself every day for what happened to them. Then Forgiveness isn't an option. Then you fight for them. Yeah. You're clever, China. Very sneaky. Sneaky? Mm. <laughs> I feel that if I told you anything, I and mean, I don't know you very well, but that you'd report it honestly and with the sincerity in which it was delivered. Mm. You know, I've been a soldier for so many years, I don't even know how not to be one anymore. All those years in service. Things I've seen, it's all up here. I have dreams, bright nightmares. When I wake up, I feel like I'm back in the action. Um, I can feel the emotions, I can see their faces, hear their voices, their anguish screams. And then after a while, I wake up and I get on with the day. This is different, guys. 
inside me. It haunts me. You know, I put the lives of many men and women in danger over the years. Some have even lost their lives because of decisions I've made. But it was part of the job. And the funny thing is that, you know, I can forgive some, not all, but some of those decisions. But when you sign up to fight for your country and you turn around one day and you find that the knife sticking in your back has your own country's flag on it. I understand. So as I say, I am not someone to look up to. I just want to bring this fucking government down. I agree. But how can we stop those gears from turning when the machine has been gaining speed since Cain slayed Abel? I don't know. God knows I've tried, but I'm only one person, and that was all of you, and apparently some nameless person who has the motivation to do it. can make a difference. One person is all it takes. If the cause is good, the others will follow. Hunter? Robert Hunter, the nature guy. He says it all the time on his program. And I wonder what he'd have to say about the ungodly perversion of nature that's been created. Are they really that bad? Yeah. Like something out of a horror film. You want to pray you don't see one. How did you get away? No. Luck, I guess, or maybe it wasn't my time. Hopefully it won't be yours. Anyway, enough of all this. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself, you know? I've got to get up early and you need to get some sleep at some point. Right. Look, thanks, Miss. Good night. Get some sleep at some point. expect some sort of military presence to be. And we've got to get around it somehow, but it's just all rocky cliffs on that side. That's not a problem. I've got climbing equipment if needed. For all of us? 
a few, but not for everyone. Um, I've got two, maybe three, if we use my backup. But to teach a novice, it'll take a few hours. It's not hard grappling up and down once you know how. It's knowing where to put the spikes, and I'll be there for that. And how many would it take for a novice to teach them? Um, it would take maybe a few hours at most. It's not hard grappling up and down once you know how, but it's knowing where to put the spikes, and I'll be there for that. So why don't we split up now? And three of us go down the rocky cliffs, yeah. and the other splitting up is not a good idea. We have a number of entry points. It makes sense to split up. More chance of avoiding detection. No, it's not going to work. You'd be stronger in numbers. Right. I'm coming with you. No, 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 no. I said advisory only. Well, you need another person and clearly you need a leader. Otherwise, if you get caught, all of this will have been for nothing. <sighs> Thank you for doing this. It's not a courtesy. Mm. I just want this job done. And you need another person. So, and what are the best routes? Okay. Right. Guns ready, yeah? All present and correct. And the ammo? All packed. All right. Me and Connie are going to do a couple radiation readings in the area as a precaution. I really don't think that's a good idea. We'll be careful. We have to at least know we're okay this side of the mountain. Okay. But stay close and please keep low. Oh, and... You need to take one of these. Anyone heading into the mountains needs to take them. They're for the radiation. Last time, one of my soldiers didn't, and she fell seriously ill. Let's go. So to recap, we are here, and the best entry point is here. So if we leave at 2300 hours, we should be over the ridge by midnight. Okay, so that would give us roughly seven hours to get in, get what we need, and get out. Is that going to be long enough? Well, as long as we all stay focused. We know our routes, it should be plenty. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, it's for the article. I just want to get as much information down so I don't forget anything. Yeah, but when you're out there, you can't be writing notes. You're going to have to keep a mental note. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting time. Can we record audio? Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with the mission by giving away our position. You just have to use your recorder and upload to the server every half hour. Mm. It's unlikely we'll get a signal out here. Yeah, but I just hope maybe radiation doesn't destroy the equipment. We 
have our ways. And that's Captain Brooks now. See me from here. That's how people can kill. Shh. See? Nothing. Good, so you're still with us. Oh, I bet you're just itching to tell me how you made it out of that bonzo life, aren't you? <laughs> you know me so well. You always seem to know exactly what I was thinking. I have been practically gagging to tell you. <laughs> I suspect you even blame me for it as well. Oh, now I've had a lot of time to work through those emotions, Vanessa. Can I call you Vanessa? Uh, seeing as you're a civilian and all now. Just Ness will do. I like that. Ness. From Germanic language meaning nose. As in to cut off your nose to spot your face. So, there I was. Trapped behind enemy lines. We were stationed in Kandahar. A disgustingly hot and dry place. My skin has never been the same since. But now this climate is far more conducive to my southern heritage. Get on with it. <laughs>
was behind enemy lines and cut off from the rest of my unit. Our unit. <laughs> Me and one other soldier. We had entered into an enemy stronghold on the cover of darkness. Illegally. Illegally, mind you. Believing that there was another unit behind us and that our exit was covered. Little did we know that this was a black art, and we were the expendable part of the mission. It's not often that you get called to help in a black art, is it, Ness? Not often, no. So you can imagine my surprise when I found that out. <laughs> but you knew, didn't you, Ness? You knew this was a suicide mission. Of course you knew. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. So we were going room to room, clearing out civilians and eliminating insurgents. That's when Lexi got hit. Lexi! Now you remember Lexi, don't you, Nez? Lexi. A full magazine to the back. Ouch. Eight rounds from an anti World War II garage. Pow wow 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 wow. Well, you can imagine my dilemma. Comrade down. But there was still a building to clear. Do I carry on and leave a wounded soldier to potentially bleed out? Or do I help her? Well, I made my decision off my own back. I'm not an animal. So I hoisted Lexi up over my shoulder, farmer style. And I precariously maneuvered us down the stairs, gun in hand in case we were intercepted. I laid her down by the door. I radioed it in. And then I went back in. I stalked my way through that building, one level at a time. Hit it all the way to the top, on my own. And then, <laughs> fucking revelations! <laughs> Fire just exploded out of nowhere. The light was so bright, I had my arms in front of my eyes. I was flung clean out of a window, can you believe it? <laughs> The force just lifted me up like the hand of God and flew me out like a bat out of hell. Hallelujah! Turns out, the person of interest that we were after wasn't even in that building. So, so they wasted, they wasted it. Out. What I'd like to know is who gave the order. It was out of my hands. Did you fight for me, Ness? Knowing that I was still in there? Of course I did. See, now I just don't believe that! No, I don't believe that! Piss me off. Good. 
don't need to concern yourself with that. My job is to make sure this place is kept from inquisitive minds. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Your friend here hasn't been telling you the truth now, has she? Your friend's benefactor has an interest in what goes on here. A personal interest. And because of reasons of national security, we intercepted some very useful information about his little expedition. It seems his son was here on some crusade with his degenerate friend to try and uncover what we're doing here. Which is funny. <laughs> because he uncovered a lot more than he bargained for. Oh my god. It's not what you think. What have you done with him? Oh, I haven't done anything. Not my department, I'm afraid. Is but I'm sure we can arrange for you to see him. Is this true? Hmm? We're here to find some rich guy's son. Not entirely. Oh, I wish I was recording this. You put the lives of everyone here in danger. You guilted me into coming because you made me believe you were here to stop this. Sorry. But that is not the only reason why we're here. This area is a ticking time bomb. And not only for those creatures, but anyone who's mutated by the radiation. Fucking <laughs> idiot. There's no threat of that. None of you are getting out of your life. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be a pleasure dispatching you. I'm afraid not, sir. Jesus Christ. No matter. I don't suppose you'll survive for very long out there.
fuck's sake. Connie. Matt, you're hurt. Oh, it's nothing, I don't think. How did you get away? I just ran. They chased me for a mile or so, but I got away. And you? Ben and I were up in the mountains doing some readings. One of those things got him. Fuck. So we're a man down. And Gina was being chased by two of them. She was driving the car. Two of them? They burnt her alive. Fuck's sake. And the rest of them didn't manage to get out of the cabin. I had to sneak around because that army guy was still in there and Joanna and Nessa and China were still tied up inside. This is a fucking disaster. What are you going to do? I don't know. Look, if we carry on up this road for a few miles, we're bound to find civilization. I can't remember how long the car journey was before we got to the cabin. It was a really long while. Are we really just going to leave them in there? If we go and get help, we've got more chance of helping them. Who are we going to call? <laughs> the authorities? It's the army in there. What are they going to do? Oh, Christ, Connie. <laughs> They're not going to do anything. She was right. What are we going to do? Even if we get out alive, nobody's going to believe us. We have to go back and help them. With their bare hands? They've got guns. So do we. If, if we get inside or... I can call the benefactor. Maybe he'll know what to do. You've got his number? Yeah. But I'm not getting signal. There's no signal. I, I think it's the radiation. I'm going to have to go up and get a better signal. You do that. I'm heading this way. Anywhere is better than being here. You signed up for this. I wasn't told the details. I thought it'd be a, a good story. Covert type stuff. That's... No one told me we were gonna be in real danger. That's exactly what Ness said at the beginning. Yeah, but I thought she was exaggerating. You're a real piece of work. What about your time during the war? That was in the safety zone. I'd never put myself at risk just for a story. I think I looked up to you. This is the real world. Get used to it. place to ask. We wait as long as we're told to wait. No more, no less. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's so funny? You're a sir now. <laughs> I mean, that must have been some epic death for you to have been catapulted up the ranks. I'll have you know I was every bit the better soldier that day. And Everyone saw it. Is that why they stripped you of your identity and uh, faked a funeral for your poor, distraught mum? You leave my mum out of this. She knew what I was. She knew I might not be back. If anything, the military gave me a purpose. By stationing you in the arse end of nowhere, protecting some flying lizards, knowing full well you won't be missing that side world. Don't antagonize him. You're just trying to get a rise out of me. <laughs> Good attempt, but it just won't work. I was broken down that day, reduced to nothing more than dirt. And here I stand, holding the gun. Big man. You think that because I'm tied here, I don't have the upper hand? Do you? Well, not necessarily, but 
someone is pulling your strings and I find that funny. How so? You really, really want to kill me. But you can't. Because somebody is telling you not to. <laughs> oh, I'll definitely be killing you. Just not yet. Oh, why is that? Hmm? That's not for me to say. Because you're just following orders. Like a good little soldier. Fuck your fasting! God damn, I missed that. <laughs> If I had it my way, I'd let you live. Just so I can keep you around. For entertainment purposes, obviously. I wouldn't let you anywhere near me. <laughs> can I just ask, seeing as we're probably going to die here, who is your benefactor? I work for Robert Hunter, the nature guy with all the animal programs and books. That's the guy, yeah. So it was his son who disappeared out here, Adam? Yes. Oh, God, that would make a fucking epic story. So his son came out here, and we assume got eaten by dragons, and what, we were supposed to bring back his remains? Either that, find out where he's been kept, and bring him back. Is he still alive? That's not my department. I don't think so. This is a fucking suicide mission from the start. <laughs> Sounds smooth, doesn't it? That was... Go check on it. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going? Nobody move or I'll fill you up with lead. Nobody has to get hurt. The next one will be flesh, got it? I understand. I'll drop the piece. Now I'll tie them. Now I'll cut them. This won't be the last. No, please, why me? Because I don't trust you. <laughs> you can undo hers. <laughs> okay. Right. Now cuff yourselves. This is bullshit. Go on. That's a head start. Right, sit down. We'll be out of your way in a few minutes. All right, grab everything you can. All right, keep it light. We've got a long walk ahead of us. Did good. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? It's okay, it's just my ears. It's nothing. Can we hurry? You don't look too good. Sit down! Oh, fuck. What is that? Is that Duff, Will? What the fuck is that? That's what they call it when the locals get sick. I've seen it before. Are you hearing them? Yes, I did. You know, you because a friend of mine went through the same thing. Is she okay now, your friend? Yeah. Yeah, she's What are you looking for? <laughs> Land insurance. Wait, you 
can't you no. sleep? I don't want to hear any more from you tonight. Looks like you're about to meet what you created. Come on, let's go.
You're okay. Okay. You go through. Okay. It's all right. much further. They're still miles away. Listen, the military are going to be swarming here in a minute. Come on. Oh, fuck. I should never have come back here. You didn't know. Can I, um, can I ask you? What, what do you hear? It's like, whenever they're near, it's like I can see what they're seeing. It's mostly pictures or what they see in their heads. I can't describe it, but it's loud, like a spike going through my head. It sounds awful. Didn't your friend tell you? Talk about that now, okay? Can you stand up? Right, let's go. Come. We need to get out. Right. Why are these dragons attacking us now? And not when we first got here. I've been using the whistles to call them. Get out of here. We'll it. From the air, yes. But we'll we start sweeping the area on foot. No. How long do they arrive? Right. If the choppers are out, it's only a matter of time before the cavalry arrive. What do we do? Our only hope is to make it out of here before sunrise. Once it's light, there's more chance we're going to be detected. I don't think we can walk further. It's me they want. If I give myself up. It's the only way one of us is going to make it out of here alive. No, no, if I draw their attention, you can head through that area. Okay? You can get out of here. It's the only way. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I don't want you to go. You have your whole life ahead of you. I came here knowing that I probably wouldn't see home again. You need to be my voice. You need to pass on the information. And you need to tell everyone the truth about this area. Yes. You have to convince them that I wasn't crazy. And you need to tell them that this is a threat to humanity in more ways than one, all right? You're young. You have so many avenues to spread the word. Oh, they're here. All right, you need to go. Go! Get out of the area! Now!
What do you want? We've got you! Get out! Get out! Get down! 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 Get Where I live. 